coach. How's it going? Doing well. Welcome to HSBN Media Days. Good to see you. Thank you for having us, Buck. Please introduce yourself and the players you have here. And then after that, give us a preview uh, of your program this year and what we have to expect from you guys. Well, we're day Christian. My name is Coach George Molita. Uh, pretty much this year, we're looking to build on what we did last year. Out of 25 games, we won 17 last year. We lost in the second round of districts. We plan to win districts this year and see how far we can go past that. We've had a couple new additions that have just showed up at our door, which we're very grateful for. And pretty much just looking to have a great season. And go ahead and introduce your players for us. All right, to my right, I have Glendon Ingram, our center fielder, senior. To my left, I have uh, Nick Elias. He's one of our pitchers, a senior as well. I have Miguel Torres to the left over here, far left. Uh, he's our catcher, starting catcher, and he's our, uh, a senior too as well. Our ace, Juan Ariano, he's a senior also. Our uh, second ace, I would say, Adrian Sabatier, joined us. His brother's been on our team. He decided to join us this year. Thank, thank God. To my right over here, I have Roman Cruz, also a senior, one of our first basemen. Uh, pretty much, we're just looking to have a great season this year. Coach, you said that you brought in a few players this year. Obviously, one of them's here with you. Uh, how many? Do you know how many exactly you brought in? Well, we didn't bring them in. They just showed up at our doorstep. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we had about fourteen show up this year. Fourteen. Yeah. I was gonna say. I was gonna ask you. What's what's the process there? I mean, you say they just showed up. Uh, they show up, but we do pro usually the process is that I'll call the school they're coming from and ask the coach, hey, you know, your kids here, and then I let them know out of courtesy just to be respectful, and then pretty much they decide to come. It's on them because I really can't hold them back from what they want to do. Are they seniors? Are they younger players? I have younger players and seniors. Like senior-wise, I have probably like maybe two transfers that came, I think. So, I mean, you guys are all seniors, correct? Yeah. So just speak about, you know, what, what that's like. I mean, an influx of new talent to obviously an established group of guys. You know, what, what's that like? You obviously got to work and help them feel at home. No, definitely. Miguel can talk on that. Yeah, He's I just been with want us. to uh, see new guys. I don't want to go into the season with kids that don't know how to play so I'm happy to see that we have guys that know what they're doing we don't have to build from a low level we have we are high so we just need chemistry to be able to to build and destroy the league yeah. and as a coming in student Adrian you want to say something no well ba basically what Miguel's trying to say is when we started the program we had a bunch of kids that didn't know what they were doing so as you win games, people start showing up at your doorstep because we used to be the mecca of baseball back in the days at Day Christian. So now we're growing to that point again, and we're moving back in the right direction. Right, we have say that you guys have elevated, you know, the program. Yes, we've elevated. Yeah, but with a lot of help from the school, the headmaster, and pretty much our AD, like people have been really like looking out for the baseball team and the school and every other sport that we have in school. But pretty much, without their help, we wouldn't be able to be where we're at. So many guys being added to the team, any of you, if you want to take it. Uh, it there's got to be some competition, right, at, at positions and yeah. things like that. Uh, is, it, is it good to have that sort of competition, or is it, is it new? Competition's great because it builds, it builds winners. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I'd yeah. say it's very amazing to have the new competition. It pushes each player to new heights and just allows them to do their best on the field, which is what we want. Yeah, when I see like a guy is, is possible it's for that guy to take my spot, it makes me want to train more, train every day to become better, so I could keep that starting position. Yeah, and me being a, uh, I was one of the transfers to come in the senior class. Uh, me being a uh, transfer, like, my first mentality was like, okay, I got to be one of the best, you know, to get on the team, you know, work harder than everyone else on the team, you know, to maintain or, no, to get that position. So, yeah, got to work hard. I know you guys have some college looks uh, up here. You know, just a any of you can take it, though. Uh, you know, what's that like? And obviously, getting a little bit of attention that some other programs aren't going to get. You know, does that make you play better? Does it make you do better in game, or is it? Yeah, to have to be able to be watched by other, by colleges and stuff, it it motivates me, saying like, oh, what I'm doing is worth it. It's not like I'm not doing it for no reason. And I'm really appreciative of my coach for putting me out there and my teammates helping me to get out there. It's, it's not a one-man show. It's a team and we're out there to win and out of there to, to do our best.
Yeah, that, that being said, we have like a family-based environment at Day Christian. Like pretty much the kids are family. We try to keep everybody together. We're trying to build family and long-lasting relationships with the kids for their future and academics is most important with them. You set some lofty goals for your team. You, know, you said, I think, that you want to repeat or you want to win No, I want to win districts this year. That's our goal. Who's in your district? Is, it, uh, is Miami Christian your district? No. Nah. Not anymore? No. Nah. And then you lost Brito. You said. Brito's out of our district, too. So pretty much we have Westminster Academy and Sagemont, Posnack, Sheridan Hills, Highland Christian. For the guys, does that feel like something that's attainable to you? I mean, your coach, you know, every coach is going to tell their players that the goal is the district championship, but some teams come into the season with a little bit more fire. For sure. I think it's very attainable for us to win districts this year. I mean, we did amazing last year. It honestly, it feels very bad that we lost in the second round of districts, but... We have a great team this year, and we have a lot of chemistry with the new players, and it's it, it's going to go great. It's looking good for us this year, and the way it looks like, it's district is in our pockets. Is there a certain game you guys are looking forward to this season? Uh, Westminster. 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 Yeah. Westminster, yeah. There's a few. Of them. <laughs> that was, sorry, that was a resounding <laughs> answer. Why, why is Westminster so important to you guys? Why is that I mean, important? it was one of our biggest challenges last year, yeah. and. It sucks that we didn't get to play them in districts, honestly. Yeah. But it was it a really interesting game last <laughs> year. Really on and off during the innings. One would score, then another one, another one. It was really fire competition, and we're super excited to play in this year again. I mean, we played them in the fall, but we had the one up on them. But then the weather, like through the weather, we couldn't finish the game. Yeah, to cancel. Yeah. Like the, the environment, the intensity of the game, like, was good. It was we good. From the beginning, since we started, it was just constant fire. It's kind of like unfinished business for you guys. Yeah. So tell us about today, Coach. You brought your team out here to participate in HSB and Media Days. Why is it important for your team to come out here? I think it's a good building experience for the kids, and Anthony puts on a good show every year when we come to Media Day. It's a good it's a good environment for them, and it's a good experience for them, too, to be out here, and they all get excited with the 60, the hit velocity, the exit velocity. They enjoy all of that. It's like a good environment for them. It builds, it builds them team chemistry. What about one of the players? Can you answer that? What did you like about today? What was your favorite? I mean, watching you know, my teammates you know, run the 60. You know, we have a little competition going on to see the fastest. <laughs> so, like, the fastest, I mean, personally, me, I would say I was the fastest. <laughs> yeah, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't run today. I didn't run today. But, you know, my other boys, you know, from the Bombers. You're from the, uh, the Bombers. Uh, and my boy Dion, he was the fastest today. I think he ran a 6-2-9. And then his brother, his twin brother, ran like a 6-3. You know, them two boys, you got to look out for them. They're in the junior class right now, so, yeah. Definitely have a good future with our team. Yeah. It's happy to see my, my team grow from where we were last year to this year. So it's, it's kind of fun to see uh, what, we, what we came from. And it's, it's the, all that work we put comes to action. Fun to see what we did today. And what about now that, as, as seniors, a lot of you going through this balancing academics with, you know, going to college, having you know, making scouts look at you. What can anybody talk about how the pressure of that and how you balance everything? I'd yeah. say it's definitely a little stressful, you know, with all the colleges looking out, you know, sending you emails, all the college scouts in the games. It's definitely adrenaline pumping you know it's it's something to look forward to but it can also be a double-edged sword you know you just have to play your best and act like they're not there you yeah. know and you can't be laid back you know you gotta you gotta work for it like you gotta like put in the time the effort you know you can't just be like I'll wait until the last moment to do it because it ain't it ain't gonna work so just gotta put two and two together figure out what you want to do you know start from a younger grade like a lower grade you know so yeah we're always, we're always preaching to them that there's always somebody out there working as hard as you are or more. So you need to push, 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 and that's what they've been doing. Very impressed by all of them. I just can't say anything. That this is going to be a good year. I feel it. Well, that's awesome. Well, we thank you for coming out here today and participating. It was good to see you. The best of luck on the field this year. Thank you. Thank you very much.